welcome to Canada Hall here at the museum. I am taken aback. I can't believe <laughs> that I work five minutes away from here and I've never been here before. <laughs> well, actually, this is the most popular exhibition in the country. So I think you know why now. Absolutely. It's just a fabulous, fabulous history exhibition. This is a, a breathtaking. Um, this is one of the permanent exhibits here at the Museum of Civilization. And I'm joined by uh, Moira McCaffrey. She is the Vice President of Research and, and collections. collections here at uh, at the museum. So why did you, well, first of all, walk me through exactly what Canada <laughs> Hall is. Well, Canada Hall is um, a walk through time. It's a chance to learn about and to see Canadian history, but the spaces, rather than being, you know, our only artifacts displayed, evoke actual time periods and actual events. So you really, really feel like you're stepping back in time, like you're there. So here we are. We've just left New France. We've just walked through the gates of the city of Quebec uh -huh. uh, in, uh, in the 1700s. And here we are in a street in Ontario uh, that dates to the late 1800s. And what are we um, moving towards now? And um, we're going to walk through a few more periods of Canadian <laughs> history. And I should point out to you that Although, of course, some of the evoked uh, environments are props, most of the artifacts that are on display are all actual parts of the national collection here. So you're seeing your history and your heritage the real thing all through Canada Hall. So if I were to come with my family to Canada Hall, how long is it going to take me approximately to walk through from beginning to end? Well, you know, you can do it quickly. Uh, you can get through it in half an hour, but I'd say give it an hour. Right. Um, kids of all ages love visiting. There's so many amazing things to see. And then adults, of course, will want to read a little bit about what they're seeing and experience it in a little more detail. Certainly. So it can easily, you can easily spend an hour Oh, I can imagine you could spend an entire day in the museum just with all of the different uh, exhibits. Okay, so I'm going to follow you so we don't get lost. <laughs> I'm taking you to our most recent addition to Canada Hall. Uh, it's the Tolls Schoolhouse. So we're always renewing information here bringing things uh, up to date, creating more exciting displays. Mm -hmm. And this particular display recreates a one-room schoolhouse from uh, an area north of Edmonton called Amber Creek. Oh. This was an area that was settled by African Americans from Oklahoma. And really? they began coming uh, to this area uh, to escape d difficult times mm -hmm. uh, at home and uh, to build a new life for themselves. So they, if you can imagine, left from Oklahoma to, to an area quite, mm -hmm. uh, quite north, far north. Right. Um, and uh, we, our, our exhibition team and our curator, worked with descendants of the actual children who went to this school. And they built up the collection and the memories and recreated us the schoolroom in about 1940. Right, 1940, minus the, uh, minus the touch screens. That's right. <laughs> now, if you head to the Museum of Civilization website, you can look at all of the information, not only about Canada Hall and Grand Hall, which we've taken a look at, but there's also a couple of other special exhibits that won't be around for much longer. That's so right. make sure that you come on by. Yeah. And I hate to cut you off, but you know, there's so much we can talk about. I know. Make sure you head to the website and check out all of the information, or come on by and visit the Museum of Civilization this March break.